Hello guys, in today's script demo, I'll show you a more advanced mouse click recorder that allows you to place an interval between the clicks, save the clicks into a text file and play it back using the script. I'll first demo it using Paint and then show you how you can use this on social media platforms such as Instagram. So if you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. All right, welcome back. So let me just show you how this works on Microsoft Paint and walk you through the script. So let me go ahead and run the script. I have a few hotkeys within the script, which you can change to what you like as you wish. I have the control left mouse button to register the coordinates of where my mouse cursor is. So if I do run the hotkey, then I'll get a input box that asks me to put in how many seconds to wait after the click that I just sent. So in this case, I'll just put in one second and then I'll move on to a new coordinate and press control and left mouse button again. And it will show me the same prompt. I'll put in another second, new coordinate, another second. And this time I'll change to a different color and I won't put any seconds in the input box which means it's going to immediately move on to the next click and change it back finally to black color so now the clicks must have been recorded now what I'm gonna do is I can either play this back immediately or I can save it into a text file which will contain the coordinates and the sleep time. So let me just first go ahead and save that into the text file by pressing Control Shift and S. And it will show me a message box that says these coordinates are saved into this text file. And you may have just seen that the text file has appeared in my folder where this script is saved. So if I open it, you will see all the coordinates. So first one is X and Y, and then 1000 means 1000 milliseconds, so one second. And these coordinates are saved into, uh, my, all my clicks are saved into this notepad or text file. And what the script will do is, if you just recorded the clicks, then you can go ahead and run the replay by going Control and R, and it will play back the mouse clicks that I just recorded. But if you have happened to exit it out of the script and rerun the script, if you press Control R, there's, there's nothing to replay because you haven't recorded any uh, clicks. But there is a hotkey down here, Control L, which allows you to load up the coordinates that are saved coordinates and the sleep time that are saved within the text file. Um, just be sure that you don't change the name of this text file um, or alternatively you have to change the, the file name down here. So if I press Control L, what it will tell me is the loading has completed. And since the loading has completed, I can go Control R and print out the or send the left mouse clicks as I did before. Now, if you want to edit some of these, or you can also add more coordinates down at the bottom like this. And I'm just using the last set of coordinates and I'm going to update the Y coordinate within those coordinates by increasing it by a hundred pixels each time. And I might have to increase the height of the MS Paint and save this and clear out the dots within paint and go back to the script and rerun it and press Control L to load up my new sets of coordinates. Load is complete and go back to paint and select brush and replay the dots. All right, so it looks like the script has sent the additional uh, left clicks to the new coordinates. So we have ended here before and it 
sent another click to 100 pixels further below and then 100 pixels and then another 100 pixels all right so now let me explain to you how this script works so initially the script creates array variables x pause y pause and mouse slip and got to put in return here um, and stops there and then it waits for the hotkeys to be run and the first hotkey would run is control left mouse button and once you press it it will get the current position of the mouse cursor and saves it into the x pause y pause variables that we have initialized at the startup of the script and slips for 100 milliseconds and creates an input box we saw where the user is prompted to put in the number of seconds if so if you put in one second then it gets multiplied by a thousand to be represented as a thousand milliseconds if the my input which is the variable that stores the user input value is nothing so false then it pushes a value of zero into the mouse slip array that we initialized up here when we ran the script else it will push the value stored within my input which is the number of seconds that the user has put in times 1000 and the, the hotkey stops there now once you rerun the hotkey the next time it will do the same thing but it will so it will push the new values into the array so it will be stored uh, the values that you input and the values that are grabbed from the mouse get pause will be input in the array in the next available position and the uh, control shift s hotkey will first of all establish the file path of the file to which the coordinates and the sleep time will be saved and the file name will be replay.txt and uh, for the path will be a scripter which is the directory of where the script is saved and if there's any file named the same within the same folder exists it will delete it first in case there is a an existing file that you have saved in the past and what it will do is it will do a loop by the length of the uh, xpass array which is the number of coordinates that are saved in the xpass array which will also equal the number of uh, elements or coordinates saved in the uh, ypass array and the sleep array and then it will perform within each iteration in the loop the file append command uh, which appends data which is going to be this data into this file which is the file that we're going to save the coordinates and the sleep time to and this data represents the the coordinates and the sleep time that are saved in the x pause array y pause array and mouse sleep array now once everything has been saved it will display a message box that says it's been saved as replay file variable which is the path to the file and then we have the control r hotkey which does the replay of the mouse clicks and the first thing it does is whether to check whether the x pause array has um, anything in it and if there's nothing in it then um, it will display the message box that says nothing to replay and then pause the script there otherwise it will do a loop by the length of the x pause array uh, which represents the number of coordinates saved in the x pause array and then it will do the mouse click command a left click and use the coordinates that are saved in the x pause and y pause arrays uh, with a speed of zero and perform a single click and then it will sleeve for the amount of milliseconds that are saved uh, within the mouse slip array All right and then we have the control l hotkey which clear clears out the x pause array and y pause array in case there's anything in it because we're doing a load of the text file which contains the coordinates and the sleep time and that same goes for mouse sleep array and then it will perform the file read command um, which will read this 
file, which is the file that we save the coordinates and the and the and the sleep time to, and then it will store that store all the coordinates and the sleep time into this variable called replay script. And the last string within the replay script will be a line break because up here when we did the loop everything ended with a line break so when we wrote the last line within the text file there will be another additional line break that is not required and this is doing all that cleanup and then it's going to do a loop passing the data within the replay script variable by um, the line break so each time there's a line break it will do a loop and then within each um, loop field a loop field it will do a loop again passing by comma so let me show you what this means it means so this is the data that we are loading into the replace script variable and then we'll do a pass first by new line break so there's a line break here and then there's also a line break here so it's going to a loop for each one of these lines and when when we go into each iteration of the loop it will do another loop and this time it will pass the text by comma and we'll look at individual one of them and then if the index is one which means Okay, so we are passing the first line, for example, by the comma. And A index 1 means the first one, right? The first one before the first comma. A index 2 means the second one, which is stored before the second uh, comma. And then the last one is A index 3, but I've put in else instead. And what this loop will do is it will... Um, go through each one of each lines in the in the text file and then uh, push if the position of the value is a index one so before the first comma then it will push it to our xpos array to store the x coordinate and if it is a index two which is before the second comma then it will be pushed into the y pos array as the y coordinate otherwise it will be pushed to the mouse sleep array as the amount of time that we want to sleep and then it will show finally the message box that says load complete all right so that's how the script works and i will just quickly show you how you can utilize this script on social media platforms like instagram uh, but just a word of caution, I'm only showing you this on Instagram to just to demonstrate to you how the script works. But social media platforms like Instagram will block you if you try to use a bot or script to automate things like liking posts or uploading posts on their platform. So I encourage you not to abuse it. And now that's out of the way, let me log into Instagram. No, no, not now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for a random hashtag, say coding. Okay, click that and we get a result like this where we can record our mouse clicks and play back to like the posts showing up here. So let me go back to the script, run it and come back to Chrome. And, uh, okay, so if I press control and left mouse button, it will uh, save that coordinate and it will ask me to put in the number of seconds and I'll put in one second um, just because I might have to wait for the photo to uh, show up. And then now in order to like this post, I can click this heart button, but this heart button is going to... Uh, be displayed in different positions depending on the size of the photo so 
a safer approach is to double click this this photo which can be achieved by sending a left click and then sending another left click without a delay right and this time after the second click i'll make it wait for a second and then click the the x button to exit and once you exit out of that um, i'll make it wait for another second and then click the second post wait for a second and then do the same thing so do a left click twice really quickly and then wait for the double uh, one second after the double click and then click the X button wait for a second click that and then wait for a second and do a double click so give no delay after the first click and then wait for a second um, and then click that and then let's stop here and see what we get so I'm going to do control shift save to save the text or coordinates into the text file and then play it back by doing control R so let's see what we get if I do a control R now like close open like close open like close so it's working um, as I expected and now that's it that's that only likes the first three posts so I will have to somehow um, make a way to like the the posts in the next row and the way to do that is you can send a mouse wheel down say by we were here before i can do it three times perhaps one two three four three or four times i'll do three times um but if you do too much if you do too little what it's going to do is it's going to click the same photos same posts and like them again so it's not going to you know, do anything bad it's just going to waste time um, I'll do three wheel downs so I have it commented out here and I'll turn the control R hotkey to a loop a permanent loop and you can also exit out of the script by pressing the exit key anytime and i remember i didn't add any sleep time after the last click so let me just add a second to the last click and then also put a sleep of one second after the wheel down command uh, is sent so there is enough time for the web browser to scroll down so let me save the script run it and go back to instagram I will press Control L to load up my new text file and Control R to run the script. All right, the first post is opened and light, second is also, and third one is light and will down three times, and then the next row. So the posts are being liked. The second row is complete now send the wheel down and like the photo like the photo and then the third post but in okay so this didn't load so it didn't work um, okay so in case the photo doesn't load then you might have to increase the time you wait until uh, you press the double click to like the photo and it doesn't work on videos it looks like right okay so i think that's good enough and well, sometime later if i continue running the scripts um instagram is going to notice that i'm liking so many photos um all of a sudden in a short period of time so it's going to block me so that's it for today's uh script demo i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video